Hello, and welcome to your weekly message from First Congregational Church, Milford. I'm your pastor, Al Hoyt. Today is Thursday, July 9th. Um, lots of stuff going on. Even though it's summertime and we usually kind of calm down a little, um, we've been up to a lot. The food drive was very successful. Uh, as soon as I finish recording this, I'll be taking an entire pickup truckload of food over to share. I met with the, re the reopening committee, met last night for the first time on Zoom. And going forward in the future, we're going to be hoping to meet in person in the sanctuary. So when we're talking about what we need to do to get back together, we can actually be in the space and understand how it will work. I think that's important for us to have that idea. Um, the virtual, you know, when I did the questionnaire, and I'll give you the results in a minute, enough people said that they would be interested in doing a Zoom coffee hour. So I'm going to set up the very first Zoom coffee hour for this Sunday, July 12th, at 1130 in the morning. Uh, it'll last for, it can last as long as it wants, but it's going to last initially for an hour. Um, if you've never done Zoom before, it's super easy. You don't have to download anything. All you have to do is when you get the email, don't delete it. Don't mark it as spam. If you don't get the email, check in your junk or your spam folders, because sometimes that's what happens is it gets, it gets routed by the computer to someplace else. But when you get the email, there'll be a link that'll be highlighted. Click on the link, and it'll bring you right to the Zoom. And it'll take you right in, and it'll ask you if you want to allow the computer to do it. And it's always when you get asked like that, do you want to, to be allowed to use the video? You always click yes. And then if you decide you want to turn off the video and not have people watch, or you don't want to distract other people, you can always shut it off, or shut off the camera once you're on. Um, you can mute yourself so that things going on around you don't distract everyone else, or you can leave your unmuted. And maybe this first one will have a little tutorial on how to do Zoom. Uh, the most important part is we, this is for no other reason just to say hello and maybe just reach out and, touch, and get in touch with some of the folks we haven't seen in a while. So I hope you'll participate. If you don't have a computer with a video capability, that's okay. There will also be phone numbers attached that you can call on a regular phone or a smartphone one of those numbers that it gives, and it will you can go in and be on the phone with it, and you can be part of it that way. So there are many ways you can do it. So as I mentioned, we have the um, results of the survey. So of the 54 emails that were sent out asking people to, to participate, 34 answered, which is pretty good. So the first question was, are you comfortable returning to worship in the sanctuary? And I might be paraphrasing, it might be exactly what it said, but that was the intent. Um, yes, 29.4% uh, or 10 people, and no, 70.59% said no, they're not comfortable. Um, if you answered no, um, when do you think it would be safe to return to worship? Now, 26 people answered that, and eight of them skipped because they didn't check no. 34% um, or nine people said September. 11% um, said Advent and Christmas. That's three people. Three people said 2021. And 42% or 11 people said they don't think it's going to be safe anytime soon. The next question was, will you, will you participate in an outdoor worship service? Of the 34 people that answered, 73%, 25 of you said yes, you'd like to do outdoor worship. So 26% or nine people said, nope, they don't want to do outdoor worship. And I'm not surprised at that. And we will be doing some outdoor worship this summer, weather permitting. Um, I'd asked, is knowing that singing, uh, that we're not going to allow singing affecting your decision whether or not you want to come back to church? And overwhelmingly, 27 of the 34 said, no, that's not what, affecting their decision. Only seven hardcore singers said that it affected their, their decision. And then of the last question, how many of you would participate in a virtual coffee hour? 19 people, or 55, almost 56%, said they would like to do that. 
which is why we're going to do it this Sunday. And 15 or 44 percent said, no, we're not. They're not interested. So we're going to do our very first Zoom coffee hour this Sunday at 1130. Watch your email. I won't send the link for the Zoom meeting until Sunday morning, usually around 9 o'clock when Scott sends the link for the Zoom meetings. Now, any of you that are watching the worship services on your smart TV should know by now you don't have to open the email to watch it on your TV. If you're watching it on your laptop, that's great. But if you've got a smart, smart TV, all you need to do is go to YouTube and find First Congregational Church Milford. And once you've done it once, every time you go to YouTube on the smart TV, it will automatically come up the first thing. It usually comes up with the last thing you watch. So in my case, it'll always be the church. So, it's been an exciting week. There's been a lot of stuff going on. I've also been working on my summer project, which I've been doing, for, this is the second year I've been doing it, of transcribing the church clerk's records from 1788 to uh, 1749. Um, but we also found, we also found, I found today, the resolution against slavery that was passed by the church December 14th, um, 1840. Um, or 1841, I forget, I just, but I've transcribed that, and I'm probably going to print that right in the greeting this for, for the summer. It's fascinating stuff. The language is a little tough to read sometimes. Carol and I spent a good long time trying to figure out one word, um, but we, it's been really interesting stuff, and we also found the 1863 handwritten account of the deed for the parish house, and we'll have more about that later. So I'm not sure if this counts as the actual deed. It looks like it might be because it's attested. It's got the, the uh, marks for, for a seal. It doesn't have a seal on it, but it's attested and it's witnessed by a number of people. So it may very well be the legal deed. So we're going to research that and find out. So as I said, a lot going on this week. It's been, it's been a lot of fun trying to read this stuff. It can get very tedious and sometimes you have to read a sentence over and over, but um, I'm enjoying it. And if any of you out there are history buffs, Dave Nelson, I'm sure you'll be fascinated to see what we're finding in these. One of the things that makes me really excited about this is that this is the history of our church. And this is the history of Milford. Um, and this is one of the things that makes this church so special is that history. So I'm sorry this message is a little longer than usual, but... Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Thanks for listening. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Take good care of yourself. Smile once in a while. Have a good laugh with somebody. That's, that's as important as almost anything else. And I'll see you again very soon. And God bless.